Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Monday and the first day of this little spa, soul spa week. And today I want to get down to the basics with you. And when I mean, and when I say basics, I mean basics. Okay, rewind. Let's let's start from the top. For the past years, I've been uh, striving towards a minimalistic lifestyle and failing at times, succeeding at times. And it's made me think about a lot of things, including like, our basic needs. Like, what do we need to thrive? So first we have things like food, shelter, some clothes to wear. Like, those are the very very basic ones and of course when we're talking clothes we're not talking about a water full of them we're talking like what something to wear to protect yourself right after that we have things like uh, sanitation healthcare education but after that we have relationships a sense of belonging a sense of being validated, someone to talk to, love, understanding, affection, like uh, that human connection, uh, and a, a way for us to express our emotional needs and express our emotions, being listened to and being valued. Um, and after that, we have like self-fulfillment and in different ways but if we stop there if we think about our relationships and uh, the the very essential things that we need it's not really a lot is it I mean yet we spend so much time listening to the noise around us paying attention to everything else instead of nurturing our basic needs and listening what's in here what's inside and by noise i mean for example um, feeling bad that we don't look like people in commercials or that we're not doing the right thing or that we're not good enough for something or we're spending money on new things that we don't need because we're meant to believe that we need them if we used to stop all that for a moment if we cut out all the noise and if we take time to look for a minute like inside and question do i have everything i need not everything i want but everything i need and i think we will all come up with most i think most of us will come up with the answer that yeah, we do already have everything we need, but we may, maybe we're not being fulfilled in other ways. Like if you look at Maslow's uh, style, hierarchy of basic needs, it's uh, what I just mentioned. And after the relationships part, you also have a self, self esteem and self fulfillment. I think, when we don't get this right, we're trying to fill our life with stuff instead because then we're successful, right? More stuff, the, the better, or something. And that's partly why I think it's so important to, like I said, stop all the noise, take time for yourself and listen. It's only when we start thinking about these things that we will understand what makes us happy, what gives us inner peace and a sense of direction. But so often our greed gets in the way of that because we haven't been fulfilled in other ways. Our belief that the grass is greener on the other side gets away from that. You probably already have way more than you need to feel satisfied and happy. but all the noise 
everything telling us that we need more than that and we need more than our basic needs makes us believe otherwise. Listen, listen to that inner voice instead. When you strip away all the layers of, of possessions, it's a great way of figuring out what your heart really wants and desires. And the more you start thinking about what makes you truly happy, you start to realize that it is a new clothes, it isn't a new gadget of some kind, a bigger house or any other mater materialistic things. It's so often just being with your loved ones, having a place to call home and having your stomach full from a very nice meal, right? It's the little things which in reality really are the big things. There's a saying that goes something like, life is meaningless, so it's up to you to fill it with meaning. And a great way to start doing that is just writing a list. When you come from this point of view of what makes you happy, like write a list about that. What brings you joy? What brings you lasting happiness? In what moments do you feel at the best? And this is the reason I started talking about this today is because when you start to listen to that inner voice and take away the noise, I think that is also a starting point for change in your life, for more inner peace. And it's a way of letting new things into your life. When you take away unnecessary possessions, you make room for other things in your life that matters more for what's in here and up here. And you make time for that in a whole different way. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the things you can do to to live sort of a spiritual life. May we all get our basic needs met and treasure the power of good relationships. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.